House Democrats passed the Equality Act this week, but don't let the name fool you. It's anything but, particularly for battered women who, when looking for a safe space to escape an abusive relationship, would be forced to shelter with biological males, as long as the men identify as women, effectively eliminating any sense of safety or security. Joining me now is a director of a women's abuse shelter who is ready to take the Biden administration to court over this, Sherry Laurie, and her attorney, Kristen Wagoner. So, Sherry, you know, you've been through this before in Alaska. You run a, a shelter for women who have been abused or who have escaped uh, sex trafficking. One night you had a biological male mm -hmm. show up at your shelter. He was injured. He had just gotten in a fight and kicked out of another shelter. He wanted to stay there and sleep there. You kindly said, this is a women's shelter. You cannot stay here. You paid for his cab and sent him to the emergency room. And then what happened and how does this Equality mm -hmm. Act now amplify what happened to you on a national scale? Well, in Anchorage, we have a version of the Equality Act. It's a municipal code. And because we are a private organization, um, we were able to uh, not have to do this. Um, the Equality Act would we're a religious organization. So because of the, Requali the Equality Act, we would not be able to um, protect the women like we have to. We have women that have come from the streets that are battered, they've been sex trafficked, they're abused. Um, they need protection and this Equality Act would completely take away their right to protection as women. So um, it would be a very bad thing for our shelter. Kristen, you know, this is the, the debate now is, you know, the, the Equality Act, people argue that it's to uh, make sure that transgendered individuals are not discriminated against. But in return, we see safe spaces for women who have been abused and in horrific, awful situations now subjected to harassment and trauma. You're absolutely right. It's a dangerous and massive expansion of government power. It not only deprives women of private spaces, it takes away their right to fair competition in sports by forcing them to compete against males. It actually drives wedges between children who are taught dangerous ideas and destructive ideas about their bodies and their parents who believe in basic biology. It harms doctors who want to practice good medicine instead of social experimentation not to mention crushing the First Amendment rights of churches, religious organizations, and just individuals. Yeah, Sherry, I mean, the, the part for me is that the, these women need help. They need a safe place to go. They have been nearly killed by their uh, domestic partners in some cases, and yet now they are being subjected to being forced to sleep in the same room as biological males. Yes, that's the reality of it, that we have women that come to our door at night that have just been raped. And at the same time, we would have to let a biological man that's identifying as a woman come and sleep on a mat right next to that woman. That would be terribly traumatizing to the woman um, and cause great anxiety. We actually had, and we're talking Alaska in the middle of winter. And so we had the ladies after that last incident say that they would have left the shelter that night and gone and slept in the snow in the woods had we let that um, biological male stay in the shelter. That's horrific. Well, I know that you are planning on taking the Biden administration to court. Kristen, Sherry, thank you much, so much for sharing your story. Uh, we have to protect women just like they want to protect everyone else. Thank you very much.